watch the breakdown. Let's do this. I like how the white white beater fit me. Well, it's telling people to do that. You know what I really thought that was the name of them? Like when I was younger, I went to a store and I was like, can I, I buy some white, white beaters? beaters? That all look nice and tan. Kristen, you got a tan. Look at you. Yeah. Chilling. What's up, guys? Season 3, episode oh, 30? She looked down for that one. Season 3, episode 30. What? I said, season 3, episode 30. All right, chilling. Chilling. <sighs> Are you going to? Send me more. <laughs> hey, day. Mm. Mm. Um. Tone? Oh, we're ready? We're gonna start filming? Yeah. Ready? We're, we're, ah! We've been filming. We're here every Thursday on a Thursday. This is the breakdown. KB to my right. Camp out far right. With my best lie. There you go. <laughs> we're here. Word. Uh, chilling. That's gonna be my thing now. We're gonna start. Oh, word? Chilling. Uh, you start always off. said chilling. Yeah, but I, I have no intro because she, she got the intro now, so I'm just gonna chilling. That's it. That's it. Right. I actually um, have a job now. So we're shooting Sunday. Uh, so if we missed some of the comments in the comment section who have hashtag chilling from last week, apologize, but this is pre-recorded, like always. Just not on the day that it's getting put out. So let's get into what is it, Friday the 27th? You got Black Presto's second iteration of the Presto from Off White Virgil Abla. Hype Beast says yes. I say yes too. Yeah. I they're actually really well, you're part of the, the, the monotone gang now, so... No, no, no. This, this is actually not monotone. That's, the, actually, the white that's a white swoosh, so it's not... Gun bottom. It's monochrome, not monotone. Uh, next up we got... So I, it's, a, it's a thumbs up on that. Next up we got... I pulled this picture from the flavors. Uh, Flav! What up, kid? Roll time, let see. You, you good? You got it? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, Chill shout out, out for flavors. Chill uh, LC23 and N9000 from Diodora, the Heritage. Yeah, really They're nice. doing a uh, ring of Saturn. I think it's a pack, if I'm not mistaken. There's yeah, two pairs for this. Super. There's an inner sock liner to it, which threw me off slightly, but the outer uh, surroundings of the shoe is super dope. Where's the sock? Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah it's a great one. There you go. So, uh, well, super dope. Foot, but an edited. <laughs> I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised with this shoe. I like it a lot more than I thought. Uh, after hearing about the sock liner, it looks pretty good. You uh, think uh, the Adora's taking advantage of the whole corduroy uh, trend? So right the now? designer from LC23 actually commented on one of my posts because I've reposted the picture, mm -hmm. and uh, he goes, "This project was two years in the making, mm -hmm. so prior to." But that's the thing you don't understand. Corduroy was coming back into style regardless. Like it wasn't just Nike who, like you know, like in fashion they predict what's going to come back in, like you know, bell bottoms and. We spoke ones. about this last week. Yeah, I think with fashion, <laughs> it's no, no, no idea is original. Where like you no, know, I know, but I'm saying every. Everything comes back eventually, so I don't think he could take the full. Because I did corduroy on my dunk seven years ago. And that, that was the pack that Nike did for the for the ID well, section. They let us do corduroy. Yeah, I remember my whole shoe was corduroy. Yes. So that was way before. Those? Yeah, I do. I should go get them, pull them out. They're really dope, actually. But <laughs> could we talk about this though? Yeah, say this for after thoughts. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did this last week. Oh, we fuck you. Uh, next up, we got uh, what is this? Jordan thirteen. What is it called? Moon Let Tone particle. take it. He's an expert in Jordans. Why you gotta be a dick? Because he's being a dick. <laughs> anyway, Moon Particle is a women's <laughs> drop. If I'm not mistaken, is it women? Yeah, women's. Uh, it's clean. It's a thirteen. It's whatever. I'm not really like pressed for it. Like and I usually like thirteens a lot. It's like no. Ah. Yes. Very sale. Next up, you got Nike Kyrie 4 Triple Black. Oh, fire. All, triple Black. All for Friday. Uh, monotone <laughs> Gang is in here now. Monochrome. Monochrome? Yeah. Monotone. Mm. We all monotone. I, you know I don't like to say monochrome. Can you Why? both do monotone? Because you're tone. She's monotone. My personality. All one color. All one tone. <laughs> vanilla. Oh. Ooh, some people like vanilla. Ooh, snow bunnies like last week. Yeah. Um. Next up, I think it's Friday. Yeah, we're moving to Friday. What do, do we like the Kyries or no? No. Absolutely not. No. Oh, okay. I don't like it. It's just trash. Oh. I wouldn't say it's trash. What would you say? I would say Basura. It's... <laughs> you, got a, you got a slogan now? Go ahead, let's hear it. Buy what you like now for the hype. Woo! The shirt needs to come. Soon come. T-shirt. Uh, Air... So waiting for mine. Yeah, but you do no work for it. I'll get mine Yo, now. let's do Red Bubble. We can do the... Uh, we'll talk about this after. Red Bubble. Uh, anyway, uh, Air Flight Posit in this... Uh, what is it called? Dark Neon this Royal. This is confusing. Oh. You passed the shoe. There you that's, go. That's the problem. OG, I love them. They fire. I won't get a pair, but it definitely reminds me of my childhood. I wanted these in high school. My like, tone I was really a, bad. a basketball shoe expert. Was. Past <laughs> this. But we all started from Nike. Oh, <laughs> yeah. hell yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I like it. I like the color. The color's fire. That royal and the metallic is, yeah, is definitely OG dope. shit is fire. OG. I just, it is fire. 
the nostalgia is not hitting hard enough for me to want to cop. Uh, next up, light smoke gray Jordan Ten. Trash. No. Yeah, no good. Too much dots on all over the place. Just annoys me. Too many dots. Too much. <laughs> not enough time. Uh, One ninety is the retail. Also Saturday, you got what fire is Air Max ninety five. Oh, this is Camo this Classic. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I like the peach. I like them. I uh, prefer on my night. On feet, though, Tom, the picture does no justice. I prefer my... Oh, it's my, olive. Uh, I thought it was like... You could get, like, the little pink laces. Well, those laces are whack, but... I mean, do, do we know if that's material? Oh, we got gum bottom. Is that Nubuck? Like, what is that? Mm. Or is it just, like, that plastic shit? That is that, that trash. That is, no, you're never going to get Nubuck. I, I really prefer, like, the old school style where it was, like, a little bit of... Can I zoom in on this? No, I, I mean, tap, tap on it. Oh, tap, shit, tap on it. what I did. I'm glowing white. Huh? Like, that's I, nice. I could always tone the color down. Tone it down. Hey, tone, hey. tone it down, bitches. Next up, we got women's Air Max One uh, floral camo. Not mm. bad. Doesn't look, look bad. It look nice. Shit reminds me of the Liberty pack that used to drop like a few years ago. But I wonder what happens to that shit. They haven't did the Liberty collection. Well, the, the Liberty of London is just a print they, they yeah, use. Yeah, so so they, they do it in different style. stuff. I did Liberty yeah. of my, my new bespoke. Oh, yeah, that's right. They have the Liberty uh, fabric available at the, the ship, the bespoke. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Moving on, this is a nice, I like Women's Air Max 95 again in the uh, floral camo. Those are camo. actually, look, listen, they look a little, lot, a lot there, but those might be able to be pulled off. I yeah. think these are better than the first one. Like really? Them. Yeah, the floral. Well, if you put some, like, pink laces up in there. I don't know about that. The, That's the, a little shocking. The small, subtle You're the one talking about lace swap. Yeah, but not every suit deserves a lace swap. I don't usually swap I don't my always, laces. Neither do I lately, I've been doing it a lot. Sometimes I'll swap my laces to the my same lace color of a better been, lace. Mm. All right. Something I like these. These are nice. Not bad. So uh, next up, ooh, fire. Women's Air Max Whoa, 98 Sequoia. Hey. Shout out to uh, Sequoia. Hold on. Ooh, those are Hold the press. These shits is fire. These shits are dope. These are women's only. But I don't really fuck with 98s. I don't think they even own I mean, You don't like 98s? These are definitely dope. I don't have any pairs. 98s are so much comfortable than 97s, 95s. So much more comfortable? So much more. I need to get a pair. So much more. Air Max 1 had like the oh, worst comfort ever. ever. <laughs> Again. Done. Let me. Let's go to the next year. What's the next year? Oh, I, oh, that's it for the weekend. After oh. thoughts. That's it for the weekend. Chris, give them a rainbow. After thoughts. I give that now too. Yeah, yeah. You got it now. You got to be more active. <laughs> Come on. I'm what is that? It. What the fuck was that? That's why. You got to do a I'm, rainbow. I'm gonna make up a dance for after thoughts, and then I'll just oh, perform shit, it. Oh shit! You're gonna. Like, and then you're gonna, gonna like, like we're gonna the shiggy show. We're gonna put the clip up. I'm gonna do my feelings challenge, and you can play the KB song. Not. Sad violin going on right now. Oh, what? Yeah. No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, we're moving along to Afterthoughts. If I get some goddamn arches, I go ahead, Kristen, hurry up. <laughs> they don't like That's it. That's not an arch. What is that? You're the star. They need it from you. You do it. I'm not here. Could somebody yeah. just hit me with an arch? Come on, Cravey. Go, Cravey. Cravey. Cravey, let's go. Come on, Cravey. Right, Don't be so How many times am I going to do it? There you go. Afterthoughts. Afterthoughts. We got it. it. So this week, um, Nike has the 23rd for the Vogue Air Jordan 1 dropping, which is awesome. That's on the sneakers app. But they actually dropped a kit on Saturday. Good job. And, uh, some, <laughs> and somewhere else, I forget where. And a couple women did show up. Initially, there was no females out there. At like 8 when I got there, I was like, oh man, it's going to be one of those releases where girls complain later on the internet that they couldn't get the shoe and all the resellers took them. Uh, but maybe like 4 or 5 girls showed up, so I was pleasantly surprised to see that. I got a couple pairs. Shout out to Diana. And... Word. Not word. Who, who, Danny. Caramel won. Oh, okay, okay. So so KB came through because she won the raffle for. Yeah, and it was the, actually the, it was the best raffle I ever won anything for because I got there. There was nobody waiting outside. I went right in. There was nobody online. I checked out in three minutes and done. You actually, it took you three minutes you to check out? Right That's in. a long period of time. I waited outside. Yeah, you. And then Charlie let me in because Mike has to treat me like a customer. And then You're I custody. <laughs> I treat everyone the same. I don't just let anyone. He was like, you and then when I went in, he goes, he, after I came out, he goes, who told you to go in? I was like, get the fuck. You ask, you ask KB for her ID? Make sure yeah, to check everything. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta make it look legit. Yeah. I, it has to be legit. They're like, you won the round. So, uh, even, so, even Mike checks my ID in front of everybody. Like, hey, you got an ID? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. Every, everybody's like, oh, yo, you the plug. You let people out. Like, I don't ever treat everybody the fucking same. I don't give a fuck if you're a superstar or one of my best friends. You, you get your ID but checked I was and you saying, in line. Back to what I was saying. It was like, not just because it's Mike and Mike's sitting next to me. Like, it really, literally was like, I thought I was gonna get there and, like, you know, you have to wait online and stuff. No, it didn't happen. Literally was nobody there. They got everything was organized. People picked up their shoes. It was great. 
Uh, also, I didn't put the picture in here, I don't think, but I will when I edit. Uh, they dropped some leaked photos of some of the newly finished or first renderings of the Air Max. Ooh. The Air Max Day yeah. stuff. I, I'll throw the picture. I don't have it here. I apologize for that. Shout out to Queen Leo, Queen Leo NYC. Oh, yeah. What up? Gabby, what up? I saw I saw a couple of them. The a lot of people were a little crazy for the Tokyo pair. I really like those. Is that the one with all the? But crazy I like the black ninety seven with the blues. You like the the transit one. You can take it off. That's yeah. that's the transit one. That one's cool too. That's a Korea one. I think. Uh, I Korea, yeah, Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I liked a lot of the. <clears throat> I like a lot of the designs. I think Leo's is the best one, not just for the New York thing. I just like the idea behind the shoe as well. I like the story. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that part. And it, it has nothing to do with favoritism at this point. Like, this just has to strictly do with the shoe. And even the way, like, for the first construction, it was done. And I spoke with her earlier. And uh, I think they have to change something on the mud guard, she said, because, like, something on the mud guard's not the way she wanted it to be. It, it was supposed to be gray, but the sample they, the first sample they did was Question. black. Is, yeah, there yeah. Not, is there now a contest to, like, for the, which pair will come out? Like, what? what no, no, no. All, all of them are dropping. It's oh, one from each dope. location, which is kind of dope. No, I, I didn't realize that. Was it one from each city? Well, well, well from oh, each yeah, one no, that yeah, yeah, contest. Yeah. That's really yeah. dope. That's really, that's the memory now. So, that's really dope. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's a cool little thing that Nike's doing. I sat down in a focus group with them, and they were talking. I was like, I think your customer engagement is really like where you guys are hitting a plateau yeah like they're they're really bringing everyone into it not just with the contest thing but people they're actually posting their seeing, pictures exactly on, like, exactly if you go on the nike website there's the people's ig photos yeah. like there's a picture of kristen on nike.com and on a6 um so so i think that's dope that they're doing that uh, it's all positives from this end on that i really have no qualms with the whole contest thing um yeah and a hundred times better because we actually know queen wheel absolutely so as far as I her karaoke with and her seeing the progress of her being at video. fucking Portland. We, we should drop that video of me and her seeing karaoke. I don't have that. Do I, I have that video? I I'm, I'm in. I, I do. Um, not I took, not I took, the push it one, the other one. Oh yeah, that shit was made funny. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the other thing I had for afterthoughts, and then we can move into... You guys got anything for afterthoughts? What did I say Hell before? No. I said it before. I said it before, and you were like, I was like, oh, it's for afterthoughts. Say it again. Oh, there you go, so it wasn't important. Son of a bitch! I just realized what t-shirt you were wearing. Fuck! His beard covers it. Fuck, man! Check it out. Shout out to Fomer Simpson. Yo, if Young Buckets or Fomer Simpson is watching this, I need one of these damn t-shirts. I wanted the George Costanza so bad, that shit sold out so fast. Um, the next one they're dropping is the one from uh, The Office, so they got... Oh, with the bandana. I peeped, I peeped, I peeped. That shit is so fire. I got my shit already. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really mad about the... Oh, I thought we were friends because we're on the same show, but apparently not. I'm out here trying to beg buckets for a fucking t-shirt. What's going to be the hashtag this week? Uh, beg buckets. Hashtag beg buckets for a t-shirt. No, buckets that's not a fucking t-shirt. hashtag. It was your turn last week. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's either mine or tone. What are we going to do? You want a show for real? I'll, I'll hit him up. Yes! All right. I wanted George Costanza like a motherfucker. Um, anyway, it's too late for that. What's our hashtag? On to the next. Off is dope. <laughs> well, well, we can figure that out in the interim of doing this. Shout out to uh, Five Corner Ale Brigade. If you guys want, I'll throw a link to this. It's on the Red Bubble. It's, uh, I forget, was she like 70s or 60s or maybe 50s working woman chugging a 40? Let me see. Fucking dope. Mmm, that's pretty dope. So, uh, shout out to the brigade. Next up, uh, what was the um, other after? I think we're moving into comments. Yeah, we're the we're questions. Into comments, yes, yes. Comments. yes. Questions. Turn it sideways. You want to start it off there, Tonerone? Damn, I got zero votes for the sneaker battle. You didn't get Yo, zero. It's hilarious. You didn't get zero. You guys make me laugh. You call me a hype beast, and I follow, but yet I got, got Don 11. C's. You got 11%. I wore Don C's. Like, everybody talks shit about the Don C's, and I wore them on the show. Like, who's following who? Uh, Tony, you're <laughs> Uh, question. <clears throat> Sun slash shine, 16. Chillin'. Hey, Mike and Tone. Nothing for Kristen. <laughs> Would you consider opening a sneaker streetwear store? I've thought about it. I don't think I want to go that route anymore. Why? Well, nothing for I don't know. <laughs> I just... Doesn't appease me. I, ha I have some ideas. Yeah, so did I, but I was like... Ugh. That would be dope for a collaborative store. Yeah. Should be a beard and As and ascertaining and to. Uh, I, I wasn't gonna say it on the show because I don't want to give people the idea. I mean, yeah. what other idea? Look at him. What would you think? Uh, no, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm a plus size about. model. Yeah, word. Plus size model with cankles. I'm a super wow. snack. Super snack. Look at wow, that's rude. You are a snack. I'm a super snack. Wow. <laughs> that's a joke. It's fucking guy over here. <laughs> he thinks he's a snack, so I said. Uh, that. yes, I would consider. I I, I would much rather want to be on the the inside track of like a good store or a decent store or any store for that matter and just getting the background lines to other issues that you have to entertain you want to do like the, the behind the scenes yeah kind of 
yeah. do. Yeah. I'd rather orchestrate how releases are run. Oh, uh, of course what, you do, right? What Can't products I? come into the store, like uh, <laughs> how customer engagement is. I mean, I'm not even being stupid, but like, I, I, I really can't stand Mike at the time, but he really does a really good job with that shit. But it'll be a retail store, not a consignment <laughs> shop, right? I, I mean, honestly, I would work anywhere that has customer engagement. Like, I, I like people. Mike likes to talk to people. I, I enjoy talking to people all the time about whatever the fuck Really? I never know this. Oh, shut fuck up. You. <laughs> like, next up we got what's the next question oh man and briz fur question do you think ebay has become more reliable than goat and stock x in certain situations i never buy anything off ebay uh, me too i never bought anything from those I'm, apps or ebay so i bought from all three platforms uh ebay is good each one has its its attributes so eBay, I like for old school stuff, like in the GR line, because you can get it for dirt cheap, number one. You don't have yeah. to worry about them making fakes because they don't make fakes of GR shit that's going for 40 <laughs> bucks. So that's good. But as you get to stuff that's a little bit pricier, I don't like to rely on eBay because people tend to... I get a lot of uh, legit checks from eBay about people sending me pictures of, say, volcanoes that have been mm. painted. Not even oh, like... Shit. I'd be like, that's a painted on logo. That's not even legit. So you got to be careful with stuff that's more expensive. But outside of that, eBay is good for cheap shit. Yeah, in, in my opinion, StockX and Goat is a toss up because, as you guys have seen, like you can get fake shit well, from there too. I must say about eBay, the one thing that I would buy from eBay is because, um, especially with like vape and stuff, like there's a few sellers that are legit sellers that have like eBay stores that I get all my vape stuff from because it's cheaper in Japan. So, or sometimes exclusive, so I'll get it from there. But like yeah, it's like a store; it sells out just as fast as vape. Like when it drops, it's their gone. retail, their retail there to ship to us and is cheaper still than making money. them shipping it to the actual retail store here. So you're paying one eighty, they're paying ninety, and they're shipping it to you for one twenty. So like you're 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 actually making out on that deal. But I was trying to keep that a secret, but we'll leave it. In. Secret to well, secret I mean, society. I have to, I have to contribute to the show. Oh, you know, I, 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 I you're doing a great job today. You're doing a great job today. You're really on it, KB. Like you're really on it. K two two shit. Hashtag <laughs> chilling. Question. <laughs> what? Sh that's what you that's say it. it like K K two shit. That's what it is. K two two shit. Question. What's a shoe that you're waiting to break out that you haven't had the haven't had the right moment to? Mike saves shoes. I hope. I save shoes. Shoes. Right to feet. Chiss. Chiss. I'm saving. I don't think it. I got a lot of shit that are your, your, your DS fresh princess. Yo, I still have my shit for uh, desktop too. Mm, That's fresh. crazy. I've been contemplating like, I want to sell them or not. I know, but I just love them. I have shit. a lot of shit. Right, right. my castellers. Still brand new? Damn. You have two pairs? No, I have one pair, which is why I'm saving. I thought you had Saber two. for what? No, I have one. I'm, I'm saving it for like one of those things where it's like, yo, we need you to come to this thing or there's an event and I'm just like, fuck this, I'm breaking these out. Like, I, it's, it's going to happen. It's so just it's going to be an impulse day. kind of deal. No, right? it's, it's going to be a okay. mapped out kind of deal. But it's definitely those. Yeah. Okay, KB, take What's a question. Nice? My turn. Go ahead. Alex Dietrimoff. That's, um, what's his name on? 1313. Uh, 13. Yeah, shout out to you. You're the best. 13, shout 13. out to the show every week. Well, his Very name much. is further down for my Down Under crew, but it's okay. Give Alex, a shout out now. Uh, down Under, he's in Australia. Hey. Um, 2059. He's, he's talking about, it. we were talking about last week how Adidas made 60 uh, million Juventus jerseys. Juventus made 60 million up. worth of Ronaldo jerseys in the first 24 hours they were on sale. What? Reports where they did over just 52,000 shirts sold in one day. 520,000. And stock price went up 40%. Adidas are laughing. That is crazy. That's bro. how they make their money to stay in All the game. Soccer. Yeah, so last week we, we made a comment about uh, who's doing better, Puma or Adidas, and Adidas... Uh, I said Puma for like shoe shit, but for obvious reasons, money wise, five hundred and twenty thousand jerseys sold in twenty four hours. Yeah, you really think Adidas cares about the whole Yeezy yeah. portion branch of Adidas? No, they care about the bigger well, picture, which care, is the soccer shit. Because they don't want to be counted out, but that it's not as important to them as but, it is tonight. But you know what's funny about that? The real money's coming from oh, Europe. Oh yeah, they're getting from money. All that they're soccer shit. Money. Do you know what why Adidas is laughing though? Or well, Nike is the. So Ronaldo is Nike's fucking whatever influencer or whatever. Yeah, oh yeah. So the well, Ronaldo's came out the CR7s. How did I forget about that? Right. That's so, crazy. So they pay him for endorsements. That guy's a money machine. And he makes mad money from them. Well, that's because soccer is. But the jersey is Adidas, and they made sixty million dollars off of it. That's I, fucking. I think terrible. he probably made more money for like each jersey than like each sneaker. Yeah, but, so. but it's still fucking. Fun. I, I think that's funny as well. Good job, thirteen. Good job. Good job. Uh, I'm next, going next one. Oh, are you taking that name? She's putting in that work. It's my, it's my boy. All right. All right. Shout out to Ryan Swanger. Swangs, what up? Chilling. Yo, what up, kid? Great show, y'all. 
What's your perspective on what appears to be a shift in focus towards bringing back classic silhouettes in OG or OG adjacent colorways and a fewer bigger name collabos from A6, Reebok, Puma, etc.? I would I like, like to it. see. I would like to see Reebok do more collabs on like the Club C shits or like the Reebok classics. Well, well, so they they have been doing that. That's like what he's saying. Like, what do you think about them actually doing? Because they've been doing that. No, I'm talking about like the way they used to do it, like from like high and low or like soapboxes mm -hmm. to do all those Reeboks. Like them shits were like fire. Like I missed that whole period of when the runners were dropping. Like if I was like into like sneakers like that at that time, like I would have bought all these shits too. Yeah, that's when you were on your Nike shit. Yeah, that's that's a whole different world. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, I, I actually enjoy the old school aesthetic. Uh, like Kristen was saying before, they bring everything back and everything makes a return. Uh, this is no different. I like the OG aesthetic. I like that style. I like that look. Like everything about it. It's, it's, it's a more mature look to me uh, in that regard. Like yeah, dress. We, we can't wear basketball shoes everywhere. Like we're adults and shit. Like, I'm going to go to a club and basketball shoes. I know there's grown ass men who wear basketball shoes everywhere. I can't. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But I, for, for my personal taste and style, I like the OG That's aesthetic awesome. with the pin roll, with a pair of jeans, with whatever it is that you're wearing. Like, but your I style like, always evolves. Like, you're not never the same style your whole life. Like, yeah, I've been into streetwear, but my style Every season changes. Evolved. Get it? Every season changes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get I get it. it. Like, uh, <laughs> next up, you want to take DS Peter? Who's going? Me? Yeah. Uh, question. What is your opinion about rules? Oh, man. They're talking about this shit. Uh, well, I'd like to. Do you want me to read it? You... No, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. <clears throat> what is your opinion about rules buying a shoe from stores retailer that asks you to choose whether you wear the shoes that you bought and get the box or not wearing it, but you don't get the box? Or some other rules that demands people to wear a certain shoe or clothing to be able to buy something from them? I understand that the store wants to eliminate resellers, but is that legal yes, to do or not? It's a hundred percent legal. Like, uh, it, it's, it's, it's really up to the store and like, who they want to sell it to. But I think it's kind of fucked up. What? Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. What if that person's waiting on the line like they don't want to wear the shoe at this moment? Like, they're gonna save it for a certain. They don't make them event. walk out of the store. Some stores will make you walk out, but they, they the people from Soulbox made, 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 made them walk out the store with it. They walk around the corner and clean them. But they they yeah. stop. I would have stopped right in front of the store and put them right in the box and walked away. They send them shit to StockX like hoping they pass. <laughs> Listen, StockX has been passing some. Yeah, oh, some, some shoes trash. That GS yeah. that I know personally have been worn. Damn. Like, that's kind of wild. That's a good cleanup crew. That, that's, that's, that's fucking sick. Yeah, but I, I agree with this. <laughs> I agree with this 100%. Like, honestly, if you're there as a collector or someone, even if you're picking up for your friend, my friend's not going to be mad if they were like, yo, you have to wear the shoe out of the store and then give it to your friend. I don't give a fuck. Okay, cool. Like, you're getting the shoe. I, I didn't fucking take a hike in them. I didn't run 30. 300 fucking miles in them. I just got the shoe, wore it for fucking two blocks, put it back in the bed, and then gave it to you. Like, what, what if people it was buy like, you shoes all the time. Like, what if it was like somebody like lined up for their boyfriend or girlfriend and like what? they don't wear the same size and there's significant others like in school or in the like at work or some shit and they gotta buy a certain size and that person doesn't wear anything. That's yeah, the they're same. not gonna care. They like, that's fucked up. That's the rule that they have and you follow it. They don't so, need your but they, they drop those rules. Before the campout started, or like once everybody was lined up, well, no, they, they let everybody know. They, they definitely started letting people know. Like if you know, if you're not going to buy your own size, you're not going to be able to get a pair. The only problem I have with with this situation and what you're saying, the inverse to it, like what if you're getting it for someone else yeah. and they're a different size or whatever the situation is, like the same way you took your time out to go camp out for the shoe, they should have did it. Like if you really want the shoe, like I'll do a camp out and people will be there lined up and there'll be 40 people with a list of 100 people and I go, you're here, you get a ticket. Like it's that simple. I'm not here to be like, oh. Well, my friend's parking a car for two hours. He'll be back. He went to work. And they never come back. And they never show up. And they want to show up at 10 o'clock and be like, oh, my friend was holding my spot. Nah, it don't work. People put in work to be at these locations. And to keep it as fair as possible, sometimes you got to you gotta fuck somebody. But at the end of the oh, day. Pause. Pause. What? For real. You say you got to fuck somebody. Well, somebody's. Uh, whatever. Somebody's got to get fucked. Somebody's got to get fucked. Someone's getting fucked right now. My name's Buck. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, whatever. Fuck it. I, I I agree with it. I'm not mad at it whatsoever. I think it's funny. It's <clears> a <throat> picture of like someone trying to squeeze their shoes. Yeah, it was, you know, it was mad. It's like a size four, and the guy was like a 10. He's like, uh. <laughs> Next up, we got Geeky Cool. This is last week's question <laughs> that I wasn't able to throw into the episode, but you're. 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 Uh, hashtag we here. Hashtag we not here. No, no, we here. We here. Hashtag the breakdown. Hashtag question. Hashtag 
Uh, do you guys feel social media influencers and slash or younger YouTube high speeds, blazing dairy, kice, fussy tube, etc., changing the, the sneaker culture or streetwear for the better or worse? Okay, see, so I'm not going to blame the people that are, because that, they are ruining it, but it's the kids that just follow. Like, you should be your, it's okay to, like, see what's going on, but it doesn't mean that you should follow it and do exactly what they're doing, but whatever. That's the world we live in. There's an inverse to that, but tell me. Yeah, uh, First off, I don't know any of these fucking YouTube hype beats, I mean, influencers. Them. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to take this one. Um, <laughs> you don't think they change it for the worse? Oh, 100%. Uh -huh. I, like, you like, think so, for real? In, yeah. retrospe yeah. in, in retrospect. You know, in Dallas, there was this kid that's a YouTuber, and he had his own booth. Some little kids who's there shaking hands, and no offense, but you look like the biggest herb i ever seen. <laughs> wow. All right. Yo, Mike. So, so here, here's the problem with the YouTube era. <laughs> I was like, why are there people standing online to see this kid? Why In regards to what you were saying about... Hey, to take a picture with him. What was wrong with him? Like, why is he just, His parents have money and he collects sneakers and, like, watch his channel and you'll see why he's there. Well, as an influence, that's what they do. Well, I might finish. Sorry. Right. So, in regard to what Krista was saying about people who are watching this shit, they're young and impressionable. So, if they see 300,000 views and they think that that's the way to do it, like, I don't blame the kids for... Following that trend on YouTube and seeing this hype beast shit, I don't blame them. I blame the adults who are creating that content. That's who I blame. Kais Omar, uh, Fousey Tube, who just got exposed for like some concert that he did. It was a whole fucking thing. Like I watch clips of this shit just because I have to like keep in the know and I want to know about shit. Oh, oh shit. But basically what <laughs> happened is Kais started doing this whole hype beast train where he would go out and fucking just buy hype beast shit and then Blazendary followed along or I don't know the exact path or time frame. But they basically do all the same shit. They go to the same place to shop, they buy, they'll spend their money on the most expensive thing and then try to flip it. And then they get endorsed by these brands because they have these large followings. And kids see the social media as a way to fame. That, that's Which it is. Now. Uh, it, it is. You're 100% right. it is. Yeah, but so is YouTube. And so Let's is go viral. Other, it, yeah, it, that's... Um, Justin Bieber went viral on YouTube and became a star. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. Like, that's... I, I, there's nothing wrong with that. Any, if you're internet. talented, you can be exposed on any social it's, platform. It's, it's a weapon that could be used for positivity or negativity. At this point, it's more negative than it is positive. They're not encouraging kids to go learn things. They're not encouraging kids to go fucking do their own research. They're feeding them a bunch of hype beast bullshit. Right. And then the kids are like, oh, that's the new wave. That's like what that little kid, do. what's that little girl and with the money? I'm rich. Oh, uh, Taylor? Yeah, no, Tay Tay. Little Tay? Little Tay. Yeah, that Little girl Tay. Out of control. I'm only nine years old, but like her mom her mom lost her job because of it, because of the retailer that the, the her mom's putting that out. Yeah, well her mom let her use one of the houses as a place to be like, I just bought a new crib and it wasn't real, but the person who owned it was like, You let your kid in there to film inside my place, that's not legal. So she lost her job over it. There's like a whole bunch of shit. There are a lot of repercussions to doing things wrong for social media or doing this what do they call it? They're going going viral. Going we're going viral. Like or we're trolling. gonna try to get this shit to go or viral. Trolling. And like people get fucked up. Oh my god, time out. Yesterday Takashi posted a video of him saying, I still live in the hood, I got all my change on he got he got kidnapped last night. That's a publicity story. Uh, That's a troll, he's a troll monster. He, he's in the hospital. Yeah, first of all, I don't, <laughs> if he, he doesn't gets live. Caught, if he gets caught lying to the cops, that's another charge. I doubt he's lying to the cops. He got kidnapped, pistol whipped, they stole his jewelry. Yeah, they didn't call the cops, did they? They did. He's, he, yes, they did. The yeah, cops had to get him. They kidnapped him. He jumped out of the guy's car while it was moving. Yeah, I heard all of that. Well, I read it all. But I didn't read any of that. I'm pretty sure it's not. But he was true. online trolling two hours before saying, I live in the hood. I still got on my chains. No one's doing shit to me. And well, then, he still lives in Bushwick? Yeah, he lives in local. I know, I know where he lives. On the corner from fucking Eric. Yeah, I know where he lives. Shout out to Eric, you fucking chooch. That's probably Eric who did it. Yeah, I, I just think that there's a there's a better way to go about it, and nobody's about the positivity. They're all about the negativity. That's it. Sneaker game is me. Carlos D. Anybody taking Carlos D? Pause. You're. You're. I give Mike the W this week. Congratulations, Mike. This one is a personal question. Have you ever had a friend who only yo, yo, calm down? Who only is yo, 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 calm down? Could you finish who, the phone oh, question? Put just finish the phone <laughs> question. Who only hits you for discounts and holding them down for something? How do I handle them? How do I handle them? <laughs> you're, you're, you're pointing at me and I'm pointing at him. No, it's definitely KB. Yeah, one thousand. Uh, I only hit you up for discount? Yup. Yo, that is such a fucking crap. And only for releases. Releases. No. Yup. That's a lie. Releases. I hit you up for Cheap. pictures. For, for, the, <laughs> for pictures, the show, and shoes. Yup. <laughs> Everything. That's it. I don't get shit. You don't ever, yo. I just got a coffee. That was it. How do, how do I handle them? How do you handle them, Tone? 
Nobody oh, asked me for don't, shit. Don't, don't hit him with the fucking high. If you your joke and hit him for the high. She's gonna think that like I only hit you up for discounts. Like, come on, bro. Yo, not even, she doesn't hit me up for discounts because I don't get discounts. She I love your shoes. I love it when resellers hit me up because you know I'm like a reseller. Because he's like the talent. So he's the worst reseller. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the worst reseller <laughs> in the world. But worst reseller. But if you want to pre-order something, I got you. Feel me? But I love it when resellers hit me up and like, yo, tone, let me get it for retail for the toe. Hell fucking there was no. There a post about that. Who's that, Lasky? Lasky posted Yeah, that. Lucky posted up. Yo, what up, Lucky? Shout out to Lucky. He said, so, said, I remember this shit because then I hit up another retailer. Like, yo, like, I need that size 11, 11 and a half. Hit me with the high price. But then when it's something they want, yes, it's a different story. So, the, the only That's people, why I don't do nobody favors like the, the I have, like, one cardinal rule when it comes to hooking somebody up or if I can get a shoe for somebody extra. What I do is the first person that asked me about that shoe... Whether it be two months ago, six months ago, three hours ago, as long as it's the first person. Okay, if they're off white pistols over here and off white ninety seven. If it, <laughs> yeah, if you think you you're have the first bad people, bad people in the comments. I'm, I'm definitely I'm the first person because I've been asking since last pistols. So uh, anyway, <laughs> I try, I try, and if it's my size and it's available, that person gets okay. it for retail. As long as I know personally that they are someone who's going to wear the shoe. As much as Mike hates me, knows I wear. I don't give people. If you're a reseller, like I, I definitely won't give you a shoe. One, just won't give you a shoe. What, or, what if it's just like a regular person that gets it, and then like a few months later, they're like, oh, I don't want that, that's, 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 that's fine. Different. That's completely, that's not your, your main not your job. Intention. That's, that's not, not your, your main job to no. be like, yo, I'm getting shoes, I'm flipping them. Like, if that, that, that's your job. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to give you a shoe so you can make money. Yeah. That's stupid. When I can give someone who has no shot at getting the shoe a pair that they can wear. Like, that, that's valuable to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. And it, it's, it's not to get shit back because people are like, yo, you got me those, I'll hook you up. Like, I don't need that. Like, I don't care about doing favors to get favors back. No, he does it. He does it it's more about just about. fucking. He says how many favors he's done for me and how many I've done back. Bottom line <laughs> is, yo, hit up KB. She's a real plug. Plus. <laughs> She got a full size run for off white pretzels right now. Just hit her up. If you're the first one, she got one size each. So make sure you hit her up. Sneaker battle. Sneaker battle. Right now? Yeah. Let's go. Nah. You won. If you won, you go first. Oh, oh, oh no, we'll shout out after. Huh? Yeah, we we'll shout out to her right after sneaker battle. Right, let's go. Hurry. Tell them you're up, Chief. All right, all right. We're at like oh, 85 yeah, minutes right now. No, oh, we're not. Can you tell? Those are nice. Can you give a little description of what the shoe was? Someone asked last week. The color looks sick. Oh, somebody didn't know what I was wearing last week? These are the 998s that were Boston Concepts exclusive. Or it wasn't a collaboration, it was verified that's not a collaboration. It was just a new balance NB1. exclusive. It's a, an NB1. It's an NB1. <laughs> They're fire. They're, they fire. But the yellow laces, I, I threw them in. They didn't come with yellow laces. Oh, see, the yellow laces are a nice touch. Yeah, uh, Premier. Oh, let me get a little closer. Premier, Premier. You're trying to win this week. You are going to get some focus in here or what? KB lost already. I always lose. All right, so Premier, Sockety. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they did two of these. There was an all red one, and there's this one, Life on Mars, LOM, for those of you who are unaware. I feel like someone's sneaking up on me, but they're not. Don't anyway, be it's my shit. Dun dun what do you think I have on today, guys? Hold on. So, real hype beast shit. Um, <laughs> are you gonna get in the frame? Sorry. Um, para. Sorry. Move, move it over because it's still on Tone's face. Para, Air Now it's on my face. I'm gonna get behind. Para, Air Mars. The camera's Mars. always on my face. It's on your face. They're yeah. fucking fire. I did a little lace swap with the... The materials are trash. Gray laces. See, there you can see. Here you go, guys. I'll have to do a color. I never win. On there. Anyway, that's your sneaker battle. Guys, don't forget that if you're going to vote, the button's right above Tone's head. The little eye icon. Tone, just give me a little point right there. Bing. It's right up in that corner, so just tap on it, and you'll see uh, our three names. So whoever you want to <coughs> choose, you can choose. That's how this little picture popped up. Uh, next up, we got the hashtag the breakdown Instagram post. So if you're tagging oh, or hashtagging the breakdown, well, but that's the picture post. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about for the yeah. Doctor, doctor, you keep doctor, thinking doctor. about that, and I'll call these shoes out. Um, <laughs> hashtag the breakdown spelled with a zero and down. Uh, you got first up uh, polos and J's. Oh, well, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not polos and J's. I apologize. Uh -oh. It is Buckeye City Soul. Oh. who failed to get a shout out last shout week. Shout out, Kev. What up, Kev? We here. Uh, he's wearing the uh, what is he? I'm here. They're, they're not here. Yo, when I first saw his pictures, I thought it was like him and like his son, or like him no, and somebody. And they're it's both, both him. him. Anyway, it's good edit. Nice, nice touch. Quiet fifty four, uh, Jordan threes and DB fours. Good job on that. Next up, we got Ash one forty eight. What up? Uh, wearing the Huff Quakes oh, Air Max One. I don't nice. know if you guys uh, fuck with those. One of my favorites. Next Fire. up, we got DS Beater. Shout out again, even though it was a great comment before. In the, uh, what the fuck are these things? Those these are, are Foot Patrol. Foot Patrol uh, gel site. I've oh. never even seen those. Gel Kayano. Oh, yeah. Those are nice. 
And next up, we got KB, Kate Beeston. Wearing the shoes that she's wearing out? in the uh, I, I, I hashtag because it's I, my photo, so I was like, Damn, but I also fire. hashtag the breakdown. Yeah, but you know what? I told you somebody messaged me and said because of this picture, I'm buying ten pairs of these. Hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Shout they're, out they're to not buying ten Jordan. pairs. It's House of Jordan. He's not yeah. about ten pairs. He might. He will. He might. He might. Uh, yeah. So, so okay, KB got a shot this no. week because the picture really did come out great. You told me the other picture was better, but wait, time out. Isn't it a teamwork? Can we just be real with the pictures, taking skills like it's teamwork? Who's taking the picture? Okay, who takes your pictures? Who's taking? I finally the got photo credit today, guys. If you want KB the photographer to take pictures of you, shoot Mike a DM. He's my manager. <laughs> Shout out thirteen thirteen clothing. Yeah, that's all getting edited. Shout out to the guys from down under. By the way, there's three of you that folks show mad support. Always thirteen thirteen clothing. Throw yeah, proper. Shout out to Paul and Jay. Shout outs to Molly Mom. You're just gonna step all over my fucking shout out. Yeah, we're, we got a whole list. I was, right I was in the middle of. Oh, okay, so we'll cut that out. No, 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 it's alright. You can step oh, all over it. On. Shout out to Milton the Flavors. I've done it the past couple weeks, but shout out Milton for the background information in the up? earlier part of the show. <laughs> Milty. Uh, what, what are we doing this week for a, uh, a hashtag? It was chilling last time, so it should be. Um, glorious I, Beard Dog. Be hashtag I, I Glorious wear, Beard Dog. I fake wear my shoes for the battle. Hashtag Glorious Beard Dog. I'm wearing a shirt that matches and all that. Hashtag Glorious Beard Dog. No, it's not your turn this time. Well, it's your turn, I so know. what the fuck are you wearing? Glorious Beard Dog. Glorious Get hashtag off. airhead beard. Yeah, yes. no. yeah. Hashtag airhead. airhead. Yeah. Is fucking yeah. <laughs> Thank you, jerk off. Oh wait, did I say his name? Um, Shout out to jerk off. It's jerk off. <laughs> hashtag airhead. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag airhead this week if you want to shout out next week. Word. Don't also use comment. Uh, But if hashtag, you talk shit about me in the comment, you ain't getting a shout out. So. Hashtag glorious beer guard too. No, no, don't do that. That's yours next. You can have That's that next, next week. next week. Glorious beer guard every week. I, I was trying to do glorious. That's long. Ago. How many fucking letters is that? Hashtag airhead if you want to shout out next week. Don't worry, I do the editing. So if you write glorious beer guard, you're not getting shit. Glorious oh. beer guard. I'll shout you out on my IG. Where, where was How, it? Tony's going to have to sit there and do work and read the comments. Yeah, let him do that. At the, uh, last minutes. week we did hashtag chilling or four days ago, three days ago. Uh, starting <laughs> off our little camera roll here. We got Buckeye City Soul. DS Beater, GG Wright 22, Blaze Star, Ryan Swanger, Ryan. Lester Solomon, and Mazinga. Shout out, chilling group chat. Mm, uh, unboxed app, Mike, what up? Gooch 305, Jimmy Vase, Shuper Ron, K222, shit. Uh, Hater Extraordinaire, Sunslash Sign 16, El Core 83, Sonic 354, Molly Mall, what up? Howard, Sean Kitling, Dr. Souls 11, always the best. Mm -hmm. David McFly, Ralph Torbio, that's Tone's fucking fan right there. Who? Oh. He don't watch the show unless you're on it. Who's Ralph? You don't watch you the show. You're going to read the that's comments. That's your number one fan, bro. Jesus Christ. Shout out Ralph. Comments, I read the comments. Stacks. I read them. What up? Uh, Law of Gravity over on the Everybody other side of the... Everybody uh, special thing to dust. do this week. What? Shout out Law of Gravity. Uh, Diana Lopez. Shout out Dallas, what up? And Joseph well, Gomez. Shout out to the group chat that I'm in. I don't, we don't have a name for it. It's called Hairless Ones for some reason. Oh, hairless but, Ones? Yeah. yeah. That's why Tom's not in it. <laughs> yeah. That, Shout outs to... I feel discriminated against. Boston Borbain. It's my boy. Bo Boston <laughs> what? Nothing. Ooh, put the armpits down. That shit no. wild. That shit wild, yeah. kid. Yo, what you are you doing? act like I smell, both of you. Please. That shit smell like... I, I was really wondering what that was. Please. That shit smell like... Does chronic. anybody else have any other shout outs? Or are we going to talk about armpits? Yeah, like you say, I smell now. You don't smell. I'm an airhead. <laughs> we didn't say that. None of us said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But am I, am Take I it back. We didn't say that. Am I an airhead? Ask him. Why am I asking him? Am I an airhead? Because he's going to give you an honest he's opinion. He's going to say yes because he's a fucking bull buster. You got I don't bowls. think you're an airhead at all. I'm just, I have ADD. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't I stay, I paid attention this time, guys. I have, I have a question. Do you have any other shout outs for anybody um, else? Yeah, shout outs to everyone I forgot. Shout out to Jacob. I shout out to everybody that watches the show. I mean, it's it's Sunday right now. We're up to uh, 1,600 views. So Whoa, that's a shout out to Thank you guys. You. Shout out to everyone who reposted the show and your story. Keep them coming. I repost them every week. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting it for you guys to, to start doing your impressions. I need some impressions of the show. I told you nobody was going to do it. She was mad funny. Get in there. So they, they got to do an impression of like three people sitting or it's just no, like they one can, person? No, they could be like one, one person. person doing like all of us. Yeah. No, one, five. there could be one person like today. You could be Tone, like, uh, and then you could be KB. Who's gonna be KB? I don't know why you could be Tone. Dr. Oh, it's Tone. easy. Doctor Souls. Souls did it perfectly. He's the best. Exactly. He, it was mad funny. He just drew a beard just, on it. Oh it's not a competition. Don't, it's just fucking doing it. <laughs> All right, we're out of here.
Don't do my lips. Wait. We out. Peace.